Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I will show you how to crochet the Rainbow Love Leg Warmers. These are fun and colorful and totally adorable little leg warmers that I've crocheted in a rainbow sequence and topped off with a fun heart at the top. The front post double crochet stitches make a warm, thick rib to make them extra stretchy. And for this project, you'll need uh, some worsted weight yarn in any color you want. You can do rainbow like I did, or you can do any color you like. It's totally up to you. I used the Red Heart Super Saver for mine. I wanted them to be um, machine washable. And the colors I used were Perfect Pink, Cherry Red, Orchid, Turquoise, Spring Green, Pumpkin, and Bright Yellow for mine. And I just did a rainbow pattern of the pink, purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, etc. And then I did the red heart. But you can, again, you can use any colors you like. And then they're topped off with a, just a simple edging. You'll also need a six millimeter J crochet hook, a tapestry needle to sew the heart on and to do your finish work and to weave in the ends, and also a pair of scissors. So let's get started. These leg warmers have a nine and a half inch circumference, but they're also very stretchy to accommodate a variety of legs, but they're really designed to fit uh, kids. And they have a seven and a half inch um, height. And again, you can work as many rows as you like. If you want your leg warmers to be a little slouchier, just make yours taller. And these are pretty short because they're for a child. So let's get started. Our leg warmers will be worked from the bottom up. So we're going to start with the pink. To begin your leg warmers, we're going to put a slip knot on our hook. Wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop. Bring the yarn behind the loop. Reach in with your crochet hook and bring up a loop. Tighten it onto your hook. Then we're going to chain 28. To make a chain, wrap yarn around the hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. I wanted to uh, say something about the starting chain. This is to uh, give a 9.5 inch circumference. If you need yours to be bigger or smaller, um, there's no specific stitch count on this. So you can really make your starting chain any um, length you like. We're just going to be working a double crochet in each chain. So really you can have any starting chain. But to get those specific dimensions, we're going to do a starting chain of 28. We're going to go in the chain farthest from the hook and make a slip stitch. Insert your hook into the chain. Wrap yarn around hook and bring it through both loops. Now in the first chain we're going to work a double crochet but first let's chain three one two three that counts as a double crochet so in this first chain we're going to work a double crochet to make a double crochet wrap yarn around the hook insert it into the chain bring up a loop yarn around the hook bring it for the first two loops yarn around the hook bring it through the last two loops we're going to do this in each chain all the way around to make our first round. And if you notice, I'm holding this tail along the edge as I work. And that will weave in your ends as you go along. You can do that because we're doing striping. We're going to have lots and lots of ends. So you can weave the ends in as you go along, or you can weave them in at the end. It's totally up to you. 
Okay, so again, we're just working a double crochet in each chain all the way around. So I'm going to continue doing that and then we'll rejoin at the end. So we're just coming up to the end of the round. I'm working a double crochet in this very last chain. So when you're finished, join with a slip stitch to close the round. So you have like a, a band to start. Then you're going to cut the yarn and fasten off. If you look at the photo at the beginning of this video, you can get an idea of the stitch sequence as well. So the next color of our rainbow is this lavender color. So we're going to switch to lavender. And if you have a preferred method of joining a new color, you can go ahead and do that. I simply just tied mine off and tied the new color on. So go into the space we tied off here, go into that space right before that last stitch that you worked and tie it right on. And you can just tie a little knot. So what you normally do when you work in the round is go ahead and chain to begin the next round. But we want a continuous rib all the way around, even when we begin. So we're going to insert the hook a little bit different. Let's get these tails out of the way. Again, you can weave those in as you go along. I'm just going to simply move them out of the way for a moment. So we're going to start our round a little bit different. Instead of just chaining three, we're going to begin our turning chain as if we were making a front post double crochet. So to do that, just take your hook and this first post that we come to. Take your hook and go underneath of it, just like that. Now reach back and grab your yarn and bring it through. And then chain three. One, two, and three. Okay? So that's going to mimic the look of our other front post double crochets. So what we're going to do is we're going to work a front post double crochet in every um, double crochet all the way around. Okay, so to make one of those, wrap yarn around hook, insert the hook the same way we just did, go behind the post, reach back, bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. Okay, so you can already see kind of the ribbing is beginning. Let's do that again. Yarn around hook, bring it around that, the back of that post, Yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. Just like that. So it's already starting to look like ribbing. So we're just going to go through and do this to the end of the round. And I wanted to mention, from here on out, every round will be worked the same exact way, just in a different rainbow color. It looks a little loose right now, but as you start working more and more rows, it kind of stacks them together a little bit more. So we're just working front post double crochets in each double crochet all the way around. So, so I'll do a few more just to show you. And then we're going to continue this round and rejoin at the end of the round. Okay, so just keep doing that all the way around. You can see we're getting a nice uh, ribbed appearance. So here we are at the end of the round. We're just going to work our last front post double crochet. And I wanted to mention I also have a video on, on the front post double crochet stitch if you need to review that and master that stitch as well. So just finish your stitch and then you're going to join with a slip stitch to close the round. Then you can cut the yarn and you're ready for the next color. So you're just going to keep repeating this round that we just did over and over and over until you get the desired height. Again, these were seven and a half inches tall and you'll just keep repeating this rainbow sequence. So we're coming up to the end of the last round and putting the very last front post double crochet. And I worked 18 rounds in the rainbow sequence. And if you want your 
leg warmers to be more slouchy. You can keep working more rows or if you want them to be taller. The taller they are, um, even going on a, a short little leg, they'll, they'll slouch a little bit. So if you want them to be a little slouchy or just keep going. But I worked 18 rounds and we're just gonna close this round with a slip stitch to finish off the round. Now if we come back to our other leg warmer that's finished, I've also done a little edging just to finish the leg warmer off a little bit so it looks a little bit more finished. So what we're going to do, the next color in our rainbow sequence is pink. So we're going to take some pink yarn and we can go ahead and cut the orange and fasten off. And again, if you are weaving the ends in as you go along, that's great. You'll save yourself a lot of steps in the end. I have lots of ends here. So then what you're going to do is you're just going to tie the pink right on. The edging is worked in two rounds, one round of pink and one round of purple. So we're just going to tie the pink right on, right into the space. And then we can get these ends out of the way. And then you'll reach in with your crochet hook, bring up a loop of the new yarn. And then what you're gonna do is we're going to work a front post single crochet in each stitch around. So actually, let's take this off. Reach your in before you bring up the new yarn. Reach in with your crochet hook behind that first post you come to and bring it through with the new yarn instead of bringing it through like I did just now. And then chain one, and then go to the next post, reach around, bring up a loop, yarn around hook, bring it through both loops. That's the front post single crochet. So we're just gonna do that in each stitch all the way around. Okay. So I'm going to continue working these front post single crochet stitches and we'll rejoin in just a moment at the end of this round. So we're coming up to the end of the pink round where we worked front post single crochets all the way around and then we're going to join with a slip stitch to close the round. like that and we're going to cut our pink yarn and fasten off and then we've arrived at the last round the last round is purple so what we're going to do is we're going to get our purple yarn we can get this pink out of the way And for this round, we're going to be working into the stitches. So just insert your hook into one of the stitches, bring up the new yarn and tie it right on. Just like that. And then we're ready for the very last round. To work the very last round of your leg warmers, you can see here we've created a little ridge and that's because we work the purple in the back loops of our stitches. So what we're going to do is we're going to reach in, bring up the new yarn that we've tied on, and chain one. Then we're going to, if you look at the top view of your stitches, you're going to leave this front loop intact and go into these back loops. You might have to feel around a little bit for that. We're going to go in the back loops of the stitch, bring up a loop and wrap yarn around hook and bring it through both loops. 
Okay, so you can see that that little ridge has been left behind. Okay, so we're just going to do this all the way around. Go into the back loops, and it's a little bit snug because we work these post stitches for the other rounds. So you're the actually the inside of your leg warmers are going to have all these nice ridges, which will be extra warm. But when you work the back loops, the ridges sometimes will get in the way. So we're just going to go in and work the back loops of our project. There we go. Bring up a loop, yarn around hook, bring it through both loops. We're going to continue doing this around the entire round until we finish and then we'll rejoin in just a moment. So we're just coming up to the very last stitch and again we've worked the back loops only and that creates this little pink ridge and then a, a purple top edge. So all you want to do to finish off the round is join with a slip stitch to close the round There we go. And then your leg warmer will be complete. Now, if you want to add, and then just fasten off, and then we'll deal with the ends in just a moment. If you want to add this cute little heart to the leg warmer, just get some red yarn. You can get the purple out of the way. Lots of colors for these leg warmers. And all you're going to do is just put a slip knot on your hook, bring up a loop, and then chain four. One, two, three, and four. And then in the chain farthest from your hook, join with a slip stitch to make a ring. Open up that ring a little if you need to. And then you can hold this tail along the edge and that will weave it in as you go along. And then you're going to work a double crochet into the center of the ring. Then a treble crochet, wrap yarn around hook two times, insert it into the ring, bring up a loop, yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, Yarn around hook, bring it through the second two loops. Yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. Work another double crochet into the center of the ring. Then work a slip stitch into the center of the ring. Then work another double crochet into the center of the ring. Then work a treble crochet into the center of the ring. Just like that. Then work another double crochet into the center of the ring. And now we have the top of our heart. So let's come down the side, work the side of our heart. We're going to work three single crochets into the center of the ring. One, two, and three. To make the bottom point of the heart, work a treble crochet. And then to finish off the heart, work three single crochets. One, two, and three. Then we're going to join with a slip stitch to close the heart, just like that. Then you can cut the yarn, go ahead and fasten it off, and leave this tail intact because we're going to use this tail to sew it to our leg warmer. But this other tail, you can pull tightly to close up the circle, trim the yarn, and then you can take your tapestry needle and thread this tail and place it on the leg warmer wherever you like. I kind of did the upper left corner. 
to match the other one. Okay, and then you can just go right into the leg warmer. And these are very thick and warm leg warmers. So you're gonna be going through a very thick layer. And then just come up. Don't need a whole lot of stitches. Just make sure it's nice and neat. A few well-placed stitches is all it takes. And then just keep going around the heart. Around the heart. You might need to adjust it as you go along just to keep it in place. And then just come back down to the bottom. And then do that bottom point. There we go. And then the side. Get that nice and secure. Okay. So our heart is attached. And then you can um, tie the back to secure it. I just like to thread the, the needle again in the back, bring it around something. I have a ridge here. I'm just going to tie it right onto that ridge. You can secure it however you like though. Okay. So when you're finished, you're going to have a whole bunch of ends to weave in, or if you wove the ends as, in as you went along, you won't have a whole lot. Here's how our heart looks. So now they match. So all you're going to do to weave in the ends is just thread your tapestry needle. And you're going to turn your leg warmers inside out. And what I would recommend is to sew your ends in into the color that you're sewing. So for example, I'm going to sew mine into the purple area. So weave the purple ends into the purple area, the pink ends into the pink area, the orange ends into the orange area and so forth. Okay. So just come in one direction. Come in the other direction. And as you can see, I have lots of ends to weave in, but I'll just show you this one. So that end is woven in, and then you can continue with all of your other ends until you're finished. So our leg warmers are complete. And I used a machine washable yarn for kids, so you can just throw them right in the wash. So that is how you crochet the Rainbow Love Leg Warmers. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure and click the red subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again.